Ever since I was a teenager, I've been so interested in improving the space that I am in. I would rearrange my room quite a bit, and you can see a glimpse of that by simply watching my old videos. I believe that creating an environment that breeds creativity and encourages work is important. But sometimes, this can cause you to be distracted from the real work that needs to be done. James Clear defines this as action versus motion. A lot of us get caught up in the paralysis by analysis cycle, and sometimes planning can be a form of procrastination. Action makes you think that you are doing something, like planning to start a YouTube channel, but motion is actually done by filming and posting your first video. So today, I decided to stop trying to perfect this office setup, but instead share a snapshot of the continuous process that I am in. My name is John Imperial. I'm an architect in Anchorage, Alaska. And today, I wanna to give you a tour of my home office. We bought this house back in June, 2020. The room that we had selected to be an office can easily be a third bedroom, but since it had direct access to the driveway, it made the choice easier. The rooms all had a beige paint that definitely wasn't our style. So as soon as we moved in, we started painting. I decided to go with light gray paint on three walls and a midnight paint color as an accent wall. As you walk into the room, the first thing you'll see is the desk. The dark wall helps the walnut tabletop stand out even more. This desktop is actually a countertop from IKEA called Carlby. This IKEA countertop is 74 inches long, which gives me plenty of room to scatter my stuff and lay down some drawings if I need to. It is also big enough for my wife and I to sit side by side. Chances are you have seen this used in many desk setups. This became popular not only because of how good it looks, but also because of how affordable it is. I went with the Carlby because here in Alaska, shipping costs can be unreasonable. I had a standing desk prior to this, so I wanted to get something similar. I was looking for something that not only looks good, but is also durable and something that won't break the bank. I chose the Amazo sit-stand base from Amazon. I was honestly so surprised by the quality of this desk. It feels premium. The motors are quiet when you are adjusting the height of the desk. You can have four presets, and there is a digital height indicator that makes it easy to see your current settings. The centerpiece of my desk setup is a 34-inch curved LED monitor from Dell. It has a USB-C pass-through that allows me to connect and charge my MacBook Pro with only one cord. The monitor is mounted using a Vivo desk mount, which frees up some desk space and gives me the ability to tilt and rotate the monitor however I see fit. I'm still currently using my 16-inch MacBook Pro set on a 12 South Book Arc whenever I am at home working, which has been the case lately. When docked, I pair it with the MX Keys and the MX Master 2S. On the left side of my monitor, I have the Fifine K678 microphone. I've been wanting to get a microphone that I can use for both my laptop and my iPad Pro. Something that I can use not only for online meetings, but also voiceovers and maybe even when I start a podcast. Maybe. If it isn't obvious yet, I'm currently using this mic for the voiceover portion of this video. This mic was sent to me by the fine people over at Fifine. And I must say, I am super impressed with the build quality of this mic. Even the packaging felt premium. It comes with a stand, but I find that mounting it on a boom arm makes it more accessible and help me nail down exactly where I want it. There's a button in front of the mic that turns green when it's recording and red when it's muted. It's a very minimalistic looking microphone that gets the job done. It's worth noting that this is a cardioid microphone and there are no other polar patterns available. Even with that, priced at $79, you should definitely check this out if you're looking for a mic. On my desk, I have two wireless chargers. One of them is a Samsung charger that I got from Dave & Buster's and the other one is a Mophie wireless charger that I got from Best Buy. 
Next to my desk, I have two ladder shelf from Amazon. I was looking for a black and wood finish to match my desk. And this definitely fits what I was going for aesthetically. On the left shelf, I have my Bible, small camera gears and accessories, and also some commonly referenced books. I also have this light from Urban Edison. I like that it's not only pretty to look at, but it's also functional. I have yet to find a perfect spot for my boundary bag, so I just store it at the bottom of the shelf. On the right, you can see my drone, my wife's books, and of course, some indoor plants to liven up the room. The chair I have is from Office Depot that we got in the beginning of quarantine. It's nothing crazy, just a simple, comfortable, and affordable chair. Right now, the only artwork on the wall is a scratch map given to me by my cousin. My wife and I both love to travel, but we decided to scratch only the places that we've been to together. On the right side of the room is this console table that I found from Facebook Marketplace. Not only does it look good, but it matches the wood and black theme that I was going for. On top of the table, you'll see some decorations. Underneath, I have two bins. The wine crate is used right now to store bags that I take when I go to the job site and my drone bag. The other bin is simply used to store other electronic stuff that I don't use as much. Below the table, I store my tripods and mic stand when not in use. It looks cluttered in my opinion, but I'm just trying to make the most of what I have. Opposite of the console table is the printing station. Again, I found this IKEA shelf on Facebook Marketplace. This shelf is a little flimsy. I would like to get something more durable and maybe something that has wheels so I can move it around the room. But this definitely works for now. Below the printer, I have my personal and project files. Since I do most of my work on a computer, there's no need to store that much office supplies. Everything we need can be found in this bin. Overall, I enjoy working in this office. Even though there are some things I would like to improve and change, I would like to add more artwork, improve storage solutions, and maybe have another desk so that my wife and I can have our own space. I expect this office to continue to evolve as our needs and wants change. But right now, this setup has been working well for us. Let me know what you guys think about this setup. As usual, links of the products mentioned are in the description below. If there's a video you would want to see from me, let me know in the comments section. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.